This is Newsletter GPT. This custom GPT writes the perfect newsletter content every time. And this GPT just got a major update that made it much better, much more powerful. And coming up, we're gonna walk through an example. Then I'm gonna show you how I would use these generations in a program called Beehive. Beehive is a great software for newsletter creation. And if you stick around till the end, for all you GPT nerds like me, I'll show you how this was built. I'll show you the back end. We'll discuss the prompt and I'll explain why I wrote what I did. Okay, let's get into it. Newsletter GPT writes the perfect newsletter content every time we start by providing some news article text. So in this example, let's say I'm a tech newsletter. First, I gotta find a website or a newspaper or a blog or a subreddit that posts content in the tech niche. So I'm gonna go to Business Insider and then the tech division. And let's grab this first one here. Let's open the link. What we need to do is grab the article text. So we'll wait for it to load. Let's start copying this text and paste it into Newsletter GPT. We're creating an image for this article and we're also gonna summarize the article and condense it into the style of Morning Brew. Morning Brew is one of the world's most popular online newsletters. Here we go, this looks like a computer chip. We have a nice title, Culture Clash. It's breaking down this article into subheadings and then the newsletter content. And if we go into Morning Brew, this is the latest issue, you can see the format is very similar. We got an image. I'm using the same style as this artist, Francis Skialaba. And then we have some subheadings and the text. And it spit out the same type of style and content. Next, we have to provide another piece of content because newsletters are normally more than just one article each. Newsletter GPT works with three articles and then it writes an introduction. So we need to provide another piece of content. Let's go back to Business Insider and we'll click another one of these here. How about this one? I'll open a new tab. Let's copy the text and paste it in. You should do the same thing, create an image and then condense this article into 100 or 150 words of content. I like it's little AI robot. So you'll notice we're slowly developing a newsletter issue. And that's the point of newsletter GPT. All right, we got one more piece of content. We're going to find another article. Let's go back here and let's try this one about Google. Open it up and we're going to copy the article text and paste it in. Here's the image. I like it. You got the location icon and the Google logo. So it's like Google Maps and then the newsletter content. And lastly, it's going to write an introduction to your newsletter. But the cool part is it's going to draw on stories that you have provided it for the content. And look, it mentions NVIDIA. It mentions Grok and Elon Musk. And then it also mentions the Google Maps. Now we have our full newsletter issue. We have the introduction and we have three pieces of content. This is the second one and the third one. All right, let's start crafting our newsletter in Beehive. This is Beehive. It's a newsletter platform like Ghost or Substack. I chose this one because it's free for the first 2,500 subscribers. I'm gonna scroll down and click Get Started with Launch and then fill in all these details. Now I need a newsletter name. So we'll go back to ChatGPT and I'll ask it, give me 20 names for a tech newsletter. And here are some options. I'm gonna look through these. You know, I like Wired Watch. So let's copy this paste this in. Let's see if this is taken as a subdomain name. Seems to be good. Now we need some tags. It says to add at least one. Let's just do tech, technology. We also need a logo. Here I'm going to use Dolly 3 and I'm going to write a tech newsletter logo, minimalistic, two colors max. And it gave me two options here. I like this first one. So I'm going to download this image. Let's go back to Beehive and upload it. All right, this is the Wired Watch at wired-watch.beehive.com. We have a tech tag and we have our image logo generated with Dolly 3. Let's continue. This is the main dashboard. We're gonna go to the top right corner and click Start Writing. And now we have to start copying, pasting our newsletter content. So I'm gonna go back to that original chat of Newsletter GPT. And first, let's grab that introduction. We'll paste that in. I'll click Enter. Now I'm gonna add an image. Click that plus button image. We're gonna go back and scroll all the way up. Let's go to our first article. And this is the image here. Let's download it to our computer. I'm gonna upload it here. 
Beautiful. Now let's grab the article text. First the title, paste it in, make sure it's an H1. Let's grab the content, paste that in. Awesome. Next section, get the image. Let's upload that in, grab the content and the last one. We're finished. We have our first issue of a tech newsletter. Here's the introduction, article one. Here is article two and article three. All right, now for some housekeeping. We need a post title. Morning Brew usually just uses one of the titles of their articles in the issue. So we'll use this one posted here. We don't need to show the subtitle in the email. The author is me and we're going to select a date. Let's choose today's date. Now we'll click the email settings. I'm just going to copy the title and the subtitle. Next, the website. This is the slug. The post will appear on this page. For the thumbnail, I'm going to click select and just choose this image. All right, that's set up. Now we have to do the SEO. It looks like it's already using our post title and our newsletter name. This is perfect if we want to be indexed in Google, which is how we'll probably get subscribers. For the description, I'm just going to use the introduction paragraph because it talks about everything in the newsletter issue. So let's copy this and it looks like it automatically cut it down to 150 characters. And it's actually perfect that it ends on tech here. This seems to make sense, this sentence. And then for delivery, we're just going to go to all free subscribers. You could make your newsletter paid, but we have none to begin with. We just want our content on the web so it's able to be discovered. And then I can click preview. This is how it looks in the email. I like it. This is how it will look on the web. Very cool too. And this is how it will look on mobile. Nicely formatted. All right, it's ready to go. I'm going to scroll down and click schedule. And we're just going to publish right now. And we're live. I'm going to click view published. So if someone lands on this post from Google, they can click subscribe in the top right, enter their email address, and now they're a Wired Watch newsletter subscriber. Let's take a look at how this custom GPT was made. All right, this is the back end. If you watched a previous video about this newsletter GPT, I used to have a knowledge base of Morning Brew examples. This was the knowledge base. Scrolling down, I had 32 examples from past Morning Brew issues, but I've been running into a current problem with custom GPTs, and it's that it doesn't search its knowledge base, even if you specifically ask it to in the custom prompt. I had so much trouble getting the GPT to actually look at the examples. I think it already knows how to build newsletters in Morning Brew style, so it wasn't using the knowledge base, but it was very frustrating. I tried multiple different ways, in many different spots in the prompt and it never worked. So I just removed the knowledge base and instead I provided an example in the custom instruction. So let's open this up. First, I say you are a custom GPT designed to create newsletter sections in the style of Morning Brew. I try to mention this multiple times throughout the custom instruction so it knows the type of format that we're going for. Step one, I'm using these two forward slashes because we learned in a previous video when we got the secret custom prompt that OpenAI uses for GPT-4, they use these double forward slashes. Now I still need to do some testing if this is the right way to create custom instructions, but it seems to work so far, so I'm gonna keep it in them. Step one, the user will provide article text. And that's what we did. We found a news article on the web and we pasted it in there. Step two, I tell it to condense the article into 100 to 150 words of newsletter content in the style of Morning Brew. See, I mention it again. I also tell it to use the examples below for formatting requirements. Step three, create an image 16 by nine aspect ratio that relates to the article. The style should be this. Now, how I got this prompt was I went to the latest issue of Morning Brew. I found one of those images designed by their artist. I saved image as to my computer. I went over to ChatGPT. I uploaded the image and I wrote, describe this image's style so that I can recreate it later for a different topic. I wanted GPT-4 Vision to tell me about this illustration. And that's what I used here. It spat out a modern, playful, and digitally styled vector art illustration with vibrant flat colors, minimal shading, and symmetrical design featuring central object against a pastel colored background, incorporating arrows and symbols for a conceptual message with subtle shadows to maintain that flat aesthetic. 
I'm gonna fool around with this part to get a more consistent image style, but it's been working okay so far. All right, step four, I get newsletter GPT to ask the user to provide the next article text. Step five, we repeat steps two and three for that new article. Step six, we ask the user to provide one more article. Step seven, we repeat steps two and three for this last article. And then step eight, we're writing an introduction in the style of morning brew that's clever, witty, and appealing. And I tell it that the introduction should reference at least one of the provided articles. In our example, it ended up choosing all three to reference, but that's okay because we're setting the stage for the viewer to know what's coming next. And last, I provide an example. I grabbed one entire issue of Morning Brew and I paste it in here. I'm not gonna go through the whole text, but I will show you the important parts. First, ChatGPT appears to use Markdown. And in Markdown, one pound symbol means heading. So this is why our article titles were in bold and a larger text. In Markdown, two pound symbols means a subheading and then two stars means bold. So the point here was I was trying to tell the GPT to bold some text within the content. And then I showed the next article with a heading. Here's the bold, here's another heading, here's a subheading. And then finally the introduction. And I provided a sample introduction where it makes a joke. It didn't look like it made a joke in our example. So I think I should play around with this until it does that. I think it's a fun idea to start your issue with some wit. And of course we need two capabilities. We need web browsing and then we need Dolly image generation. So that's newsletter GPT. It writes the perfect newsletter content every time in the style of morning brew. If you guys wanna use it, it's completely for free. There's a link in the description below. I'm gonna to continue to update this one. I think it has some potential. I don't think it's quite there yet. I also have some new features that I wanna add but I'll talk about them in a future video. For now, you can use it. You can start your newsletter. If you already have a newsletter, you can use this GPT to supplement how you write. I hope it improves your productivity. I hope it gets you subscribers and eventually makes you some money. Thanks for watching everybody. Peace.